I am Robert Shefflin. This is my family's airfield, Whiskey November 26, Shefflin Field in Palouse, Washington. I am an aircraft mechanic and I run my dad's crop dusting business and I am also a drone pilot for Major and a private pilot. Major is a company that puts drones to work for people. I help them in their agriculture department by flying the EB Ag drone. Um, this was my grandpa's aircraft and he bought it brand new in 1966 and it's still in our family. Sometimes I get to fly it to my job sites which has been a lot of fun. Really a lot of my aeronautical knowledge from this airplane and from my private pilot's license applies to this drone. A lot of it is making sure that I'm in a safe area, clear of airports, following all the guidelines, the certain elevations, checking um, notices to airmen, make sure that I can fly in that area. A lot of it is checking weather. Even when I drive to my job sites, I need to know the weather beforehand. It can waste a lot of people's time if I commit to a flight and get there and it's too windy to fly or it's, it's raining. So my name's Robert Blair. I'm a fourth generation farmer in north central Idaho, a small town called Kendrick. 369 people and I'm the VP of Agriculture for Measure. The area we're in right now on the farm is a very special place for a lot of reasons. Just over the hill in front of me here is the homestead. That's where the farm was started in 1903 by my great, great, great uncle. The field we're looking at in the background is uh, garbanzo beans or chickpeas. It's 96 acres. We're overlooking the Clearwater River, which is the route Lewis and Clark took from Montana to the Pacific Ocean. In 2006, I started using a UAV. I found out later that I was the first farmer in the U.S. to own and use a UAV in the United States. When we put a UAV out into the field to take imagery for agriculture, what we're looking to do is take those individual images, put them in software to stitch it together to make a composite so we can see the whole field. And so from that, I can make management decisions. Do I need to spray? for a weed, insect disease. Maybe I have animal or wildlife damage that I can monitor and track. I don't have very many chances to get the perfect crop and technology, especially UAVs, can help me do a better job of that. So yeah, this should be a pretty easy flight. The weather's nice today, not much wind. Thanks for that. Okay, going to install camera and battery. Checking the camera, looks good. I just love how they make these connectors for farmer fingers. The mission today is flying over garbs about 96 acres looking for animal damage. So we've just set up the path for the drone to fly, set up the perimeter, um, set up the ceiling, the flight plan is where the drone starts out and where the drone's going to land and which direction the drone's going to land. I look at my grandfather, I'm trying to answer the same questions he was 70 years ago. And that's how can we better our soils and better our productivity. Drones are transformative technology. We've had that in agriculture throughout history. John Deere's plow, McCormick's reaper, Eli Whitney's cotton gin, they all help transform agriculture through their technology advancements. 